Hello top 11 managers around the world, welcome back to your channel Mamun Prefer Gaming. Mamun Prefer Gaming is the only YouTube channel that always provides top 11 content and I try to cover all the top 11's topic and events. In this video, I'm gonna show you 3 tips and tricks to play Penalty Clash Win Streak Event. Improve your playing ability. Now this one is the number one because you need to play well first of all before you know doing all these things effectively. Playing effectively is the most important part to do well in this event. No matter what sort of tricks and tips I give, still if you do not know how to play well, you will struggle. Now as you can see, I am diving in the same direction again and again. This is the right trick. Uh, I mean this trick can help you so as you can see this time I wanted to dive in the left side unfortunately I couldn't dive uh, despite I gave the input but the system did not take uh, it can be a bug problem or it can be also my internet issue again now I'm gonna dive in the left side and it worked so three times in a row I dived in the same side left side and uh, I was able to save the ball so uh, as you can see despite missing on for a bug or internet connection but it's not gonna happen every time right uh, you know because some people will not uh, you know um, take shot in that same direction so in that case maybe uh, five time uh, in, in, in out of five ten maybe one time two time he will definitely uh, kick the ball towards that direction so in that time you you will be able to uh, you will be able to save one or two ball and if you can take properly using your skill perfect skill of playing if you can score four or five goals then you are the winner so let me clear it once again playing another match uh, here as you can see I'm about to take my first shot and uh, it is a save you know I wanted to uh, kick there but he saved it now I am about to save so first of all I wanted to dive in the left side again but the system uh, problem occurred again but my guess was correct I wanted to dive in the left side let's say uh, it's just uh, you know it's just a random one so it's not a trick okay so the second time I'm gonna dive in the left side again and let's see what happened and here it is a save see I saved it so two time in a row I saved once and I saved the match because I already missed one so uh, I need to uh, you know do well in this match in order to win first of all it was the comeback and now about to go ahead so again I'm gonna you know dive in the same direction left side but again the problem occurred see see again he uh, uh, sh uh, took the shot uh, in that same direction I could save it if my internet was uh, good or there is no back so again I am uh, gonna play and I missed you see I played badly but despite uh, that I'm gonna do well as you can see same direction again and I saved it One thing is very clear, you need to play very well in order to do well in this event. This event is totally about skill. Yes, I gave you a, a trick uh, to dive in the same direction, but still you will lose if you do not have a good penalty taking ability. Number two is picking the right player. Now, uh, you know, apart from playing a skill, you also need to do good management in order to uh, have a better uh, player or in order to get better input from this event. So uh, the, the main goal is to create a good player, uh, you know, in this event. So you'll have to pick a right player. So what is the right player? Now, the goalkeeper, as you can see, if you decided in the beginning of the season that in penalty class you are gonna create a goalkeeper so you kept everything uh, you kept your uh, goalkeeper then you are wrong because you cannot create a goalkeeper in penalty class event so uh, you will have to do it uh, earlier again uh, for the defenders you know what happens sometime the coaches are not available so if you want to add play style to uh, your defenders uh, at the last day of the uh, the penalty clash event or you can say that uh, the ending day of the penalty clash event 
maybe you won't be able to uh, you know add a play style to your defenders because sometime at the end of the season you don't see any coach for play style uh, when it comes about defenders so you need to keep it in your mind and again if you want to create a striker you need to focus on uh, the positions or players you have in your squad so who are you gonna leave or who are you gonna give up uh, for this player the player you are gonna get from uh, this penalty class event so you, you will have to decide very well by just looking at their stat and their skill who were the best for your team who were not so you are gonna give up the worst player make sure you uh, you know use these opportunity uh, effectively or very well for your team so uh, you're not gonna waste any position uh, if you have already AMR a good AMR in your squad and now you are gonna create another AMR so this is a total waste so you will have to understand properly uh, the role of your player the position of your player which player you really need to create and then you are gonna create that player who will join your club uh, next season and then uh, directly he will have impact in your squad so you will have to uh, be very very cautious about the uh, role or position you are going to take and then you are going to add play style in the play style you will have to decide which play style is effective for your squad it's not just uh, you know i can say that that uh, this uh, you know play style is the best one Team combination wise it varies. Uh, let's give an example. I have taken AMR and I have taken the uh, play style as winger because I've taken an AMR and uh, AMR can be AMR as well. But if you make AMR, does this play style work? If I use uh, the inside forward, uh, the play style will not work as AMR. So I cannot make the AMR as AMR if I need. So as you can see in my squad, the player is a wrong uh, player is having a wrong play style inside forward. And if I uh, take him down to the AMR, it doesn't work. I mean the play style doesn't work but if I take down my AML to ML it works uh, in uh, same as the AML so in ML also works his play style is winger that means the the winger is the right play style for my AML and uh, for my AMR inside forward the play style is not right so I'm gonna you know add uh, the winger Well, number three is very simple, but it can be costly. If you want to spend a bit of token, uh, then you can do it because you're going to get benefit uh, at the second stadium when you are going to earn even good amount of tokens if you know how to play Penalty Clash well, if you have a skill, you know, if you have uh, well skill rather. If you use uh, these gloves and boots, uh, surely you're going to get benefit, especially when it comes about saving goals, if you can use uh, these premium gloves then the distance uh, the bigger distance your goalkeeper will cover uh, it's like your hand is gonna be bigger all you gotta do you'll have to uh, guess the direction and uh, once you dive the direction uh, the opponent shot you will be able to uh, you know save the ball so this is the benefit so now uh, if you are good enough uh, in this penalty clash and uh, after that if you use these gloves uh, then you are gonna be uh, really you're gonna be unstoppable all right guys thank you so much for watching this video i do always appreciate you guys for watching my video and please please subscribe to this channel so that i get inspiration to make more quality videos for you